Hey everyone, it's Dee Marley again with the History of Bards podcast with a new book review for today. Today's book review is going to be about At the Court of Broken Dreams by Lawrence Bailey Brown. Stories of the War of the Roses of the Houses of York and Lancaster fill the bookshelves in the category of historical fiction and nonfiction. However, quite often books come along which tell the story from a fresh viewpoint and this is one of those books. As told in a narrative way through the eyes of Edward de la Pole, a knight serving King Edward IV, son of Elizabeth Plantagenet, Duchess of Suffolk, and the grandson of the famous poet Geoffrey Chaucer. Lawrence Bailey Brown's rendition of this point of view of the events of Edward's secret marriage to Elizabeth Woodville, of his tumultuous reign and the subsequent death of his brother George, the king's own death, and the rise of Richard of Gloucester to the throne, as narrated through this character, is truly unique and fresh. While most of the events of this time period are well known by most historical fiction War of the Roses aficionados, this telling is packed full of Delapole's passion-filled words, and his character blazes to life as he vies for the approval, first of King Edward, then of the queen's brother, and then later of Richard III. The twist comes much later when Delapole befriends a Jewish envoy from the King of Aragon and ultimately becomes a convert to the Jewish faith himself. Within this tale, there is a lot of emphasis put on loyalty and the quest for greatness and nobility, thus the rise of the Delapoles. Not to mention, you get a deep sense of this knight's love for the king, which is more than just a bromance, since Delapole hints again and again his affinity for both the stronger and the fairer sex. He does, at one point, form a strong attachment and sets a hopeful star on Margaret, the king's sister, when he delivers her to Burgundy to marry the Duke of Burgundy, Charles. However, she remains his close friend only, and so begins his lifelong friendship with Anthony Woodville, Earl Rivers, that is, until Anthony's death, of which he does nothing to prevent since he aligns with Richard's quest for the throne. So much for friendship. For those who enjoy a lot of dialogue in a book, be prepared for this, as stated, is a narrative of sorts, full of what feels like first-hand accounts of the events taking place, as if Delapole is writing his memoir, which from the first he declares this is exactly what he is doing. The narrative is rich, full of historical research, enlightening conversations, engaging scenes such as the tournament, and Delapole's character comes across as likable, intelligent, savvy, and with a gift of telling a story, sometimes with more of a slant per chance in his favor than in established history. Being a reader of this novel and a fan of Geoffrey Chaucer, the way the author wrote this tale using the character of Edward Delapole, the poet's grandson, came across to this reader as truly brilliant. Delapole inherited his grandfather's way of words, and the author renders this remarkably. Very, very impressive. Yet as a disclaimer, any who are not wanting to read heavily worded historical packed prose, this might not be for you. The Court of Broken Dreams by Lawrence Bailey Brown receives five stars and the highly recommended award of excellence from the Historical Fiction Company. And again, as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click for more info in the description about this book. This is Dee Marley with the History Bards podcast. You can also go to our website at www.thehistoricalfictioncompany.com and sign up for our newsletter letter, or subscribe to this podcast. As always, keep making history and keep listening. Thanks.